So I was about to call it a night for my video editing and recording, but I just saw this tweet come out from Alessandro and it is the wallet that he has been working on for the last a few months and I've been waiting for this. I've seen screenshots and little captures of it. So I finally get to see it in action and let's go ahead and install it. Let's check out the website first. So here we are on the NAMI wallet website, available on a couple of browsers, that's fantastic. And a little bit of a FAQ and whatnot along there. So let's go ahead and install this for the Brave browser. And I'll click there to add the extension to Brave. And there we go, so that's the wallet there, whoops. Really had that sometimes. All right, let's install this and create a new wallet. Click on the accept terms and conditions thing. Okay, here we go. So now we, this is the usual process of setting up a wallet where you have to write down the 24 word seed phrase and I'll just quickly do this. All right, so I've written that down. Let's go next. And of course I have to go through the verification process of that seed phrase. So let me just speed that up. Okay, there we go. So I've verified my seed phrase. Good thing I got that right. And I'll write here, test account. If I can type password. All right, let's create the wallet and have a look at what it looks like. And that's it. So it is very much like MetaMask. So we can, oh, delegate to a pool, receive and send ADA as we need. transaction not possible. Okay, so clicking on delegate, we can uh, support development NAMI wallet delegate to Berry Pool. Very cool. And earn approximately 5% staking rewards per year. Okay, so let's go enter my password here. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, is, it, is it forcing me to delegate to Berry Pool? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't have any test ADA in there at the moment to verify that, to see what happens. Clicking on receive, I get my uh, an address and a QR code that can be scanned. This is a very nice QR code. This one's designed quite well. I like this one. Sending, sending is what I expect with the receiver address, etc. the amount and assets. So I'm assuming these assets would also mean that I can play around and maybe visually see some of the NFTs that might be on here. So that's pretty cool. So at a glance, it is the bare basics of what you need in regards to setting up a uh, wallet that is this type, this style. Uh, I've got the history transactions as well and delegate. I'm not too sure if uh, I can delegate to other pools or if it's uh, just being um, paired up with the berry pool uh, that we can see here. And it looks like he has updated his website too. All right. So let's have a little play with the actual wallet and see if I can restore a uh, one of my other wallets on here and see if I can uh, actually do some transactions. So, okay, so that wasn't entirely clear that that was a menu to create a new account. But let's click on new account, import. And create a new one. Ah, that's interesting. So creating a new account doesn't necessarily uh, let you import a wallet at this that at that point in time. It's uh, merely lets you create another wallet straight away. So this is a really quick and easy way to create multiple accounts. So you could possibly, possibly delegate to multiple pools or from one interface. Let's try that again. Cool. So now I have three accounts on here. I'm assuming they're three completely separate wallets. Let me just check by clicking on receiving address. So let's see here, uh, 26 EE, flick back to this one over here, receive, 
yeah, okay, they're completely different wallets. That's pretty cool. It, that's that's a really nice and quick way of uh, quickly setting up multiple wallets all in one interface and I can quickly switch between different uh, wallets. Now, of course, um, it doesn't let me choose or uh, um, choose a particular pool that I can delegate to. So that, that multi-pool delegation isn't exactly quite there or what I was expecting to see as well. But it is a, a nice little addition. Let's see what's under settings, general settings. Okay, uh, there are more currencies in the world, but uh, you know, that's okay, that's a start. Dark mode, that's pretty cool. Whitelist websites, okay, so this is probably for uh, safe websites that uh, I, I do want to use this wallet on. And network, okay, so this is how we switch between mainnet and testnet. So I could create a couple of testnet wallets and uh, do some transactions on there. Very cool. Okay, uh, as a, as an initial initial wallet, this uh, this is quite nice. This is one of the wallets that we needed on the Cardano network, and I am very glad that it is here. Um, Alessandro, fantastic work. Good job. Good to have you here in the community. Uh, now, I guess if uh, you want to support this project, delegate to Berrypool. Now I can't see where I could possibly import one of my uh, existing wallets now that I've created a test wallet on here. And I can't see where I can actually delete my wallet because I don't want these wallets anymore. These were purely testing ones. Uh, I'm guessing these features will come into play at a later date. Uh, so let's go back to my initial test wallet and yeah, I can't see anywhere where I can delete this yet. So I can't delete the wallet. And once I've set up a, an account, I can't add in one of my other wallets, like a Uroi wallet or a Daedalus wallet uh, restoring on here. Um, there was a little warning, which I didn't quite read at the beginning, and that may have uh, warned me not to do that, but uh, we don't know. Uh, I can't see it at the moment. Okay, well, as an initial start, this is quite nice. It's very good, um, like I said. Good work, Alessandro, and uh, we hope to see more updates on this soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like, but this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.